We've just tasted four delicious red wines from around Spain. And in most of Europe, food and wine are pretty much religion. So it would be a sin not to pair these wines with some food. For the Spanish, lunch is probably the biggest meal. And in Spain, tapas or small bites are a way of life. It's rumored that the first tapas were created by King Alfonso X. He was recovering from a grave illness and during that time could only eat small bites with wine. And he liked the idea so much that he mandated that all local bars follow suit. Now, I'm not a trained chef, but I do know a thing or two about layering flavors to complement your wine. So I have some tapas suggestions here that are so simple and easy, you can make them with things you have in the house or that are easily accessible at the store. Tapas are served many different ways, but traditionally they come on a slice of bread or a cracker of some kind. So as a base for both of these, let's use some crusty bread. Slice your baguette into biased cuts and toast them, either under the broiler or on a skillet with some olive oil. For an added touch, you can put some fresh herbs next to the bread to infuse the flavor into it. We're going to top the first piece of bread with a soft cheese. I'm looking for something funky, so I'm using goat cheese. Top the cheese with some thinly sliced chorizo or a sausage of your choice. And then we're going to top the chorizo with some sliced hard boiled eggs. Oh, and here's a pro tip for you. If you want perfectly peeled eggs, steam them instead of boiling them. Garnish with fresh oregano. And for an added touch, you can add some cinnamon or nutmeg, which are actually huge in Spanish cooking. And for the second tapa, let's do something vegetarian. Taking some canned white beans, smash them into a paste with a fork, adding olive oil, fresh rosemary, salt, and pepper. And to give it a cheesy flavor, we're going to use some nutritional yeast. So that bean paste is going to be your base. And we're going to top that with some sauteed mushrooms, fennel, and black olives. Garnish that all with fresh tarragon. And if you want an additional kick, toast up some fennel seed and then grind it up in a mortar and pestle and sprinkle it over top. That's really going to blow everything up. And if you're not too crazy about the flavor of fennel or mushrooms, you can just simply top this off with some diced tomatoes for a more Mediterranean approach. For a different approach, these ingredients can be served over rice. And the beauty is that they can all be sort of mixed and matched and still work together. Just play around and experiment with different flavors. You almost can't go wrong. And there they are, your pairing recipes for this weekly tasting. Enjoy them in good health and buen provecho.